the Auburn University Board of Trustees approved a $17 million recreation field expansion project Friday morning. The expansion is slated to be completed before the start of the fall 2019 semester. The expansion adds 30 acres to the existing 15 acres of recreational fields. It will have three multipurpose fields, two softball fields, sand volleyball courts, a 5,300 square foot field house and a 2,000 square foot maintenance building. Via facilities management design rendering of the recreation field expansion project, the fields will have sports turf and LED field lighting. A 100 space paved parking lot with lighting and a paved one mile walking and running trail are also a part of the expansion. The expansion will feature landscaping throughout to make it look and feel more like a park, said Dan King, Associate Vice President for Facilities, during his presentation to the board. The five new fields and volleyball courts will be located along La Monison Drive between Wire Road and Woodfield Drive, south of the existing intramural fields. Via Facilities Management design rendering of the softball field for the Recreation Field Expansion Project. We really saw a need and we had the opportunity to do this, said Dr. Bobby Woodard, Senior Vice President for Student Affairs. We said, how quick can it be done, because our student population is growing and we want them to have that release. The existing intramural fields were constructed in 1979 when student enrollment was approximately 18,000 students. Today, student enrollment has increased to over 29,000 students and there has been no increase in the amount of outdoor recreational field space on campus. Currently, 480 intramural and 23 club sports teams heavily use the existing intramural fields. The expansion will provide more space and durable fields that can be used more often, King said in his presentation to the board. The good thing is it's fields, not a structure, Woodard said. There's a lot of land work to be done but that's a lot quicker than building a building. The goal is to have the new fields ready to go for the 2019-2020 school term. I am excited about that, Student Government Association President Dane Block said. It will match what enrollment is now and continue to provide the students with the best experience. The expansion of the rec fields is going to be a great project. 